Hey, a um, lot of chat chatter going on among the chattering classes. Uh, a lot of opinions being shared about what happened to the Democrats last Tuesday. And it was kind of shocking to me. I, uh, I still can't figure out what it is about um, the average American voter that such a, a large minority, but still a large number of people support Christian fascism. Um, I mean, I do understand it on the surface. That's how most of us were raised. We were raised to be racist. You can deny that if you want. It doesn't matter. Your parents, if you're white, your parents maybe never use the N-word and bless their hearts for that. But uh, all of us whites were raised in uh, a society that is absolutely racist. We were raised in a society that is absolutely Christian. And, 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 and the two of them, Christianity and fascism, as I shared with you the other day, go hand in glove. Uh, they always have. They always will. There's no escaping it. It doesn't make any difference what your Sunday school teacher told you. Um, I remember singing that song, Red and Yellow, Black and White. God will keep them in his sight. Jesus loves the little children of the world. Right. And, you know, like most white Americans, I bought into that bullshit. Well, it's totally untrue. But anyway, um, the Democrats have a problem. <laughs> they have a bunch of them. Um, and the editorial board in the New York Times says Democrats deny political reality at their own peril. <laughs> yeah, no kidding. And they just they, they keep doing it. Democrats keep doing it and doing it and doing it. I think that's one of the reasons I finally withdrew from the Democratic Party because of the, the frustration. It was driving me crazy. I knew what had to be done. Uh, for the country. I mean, anybody with uh, a, over a 10th grade education knows what has to be done for for the country. And that same person with an education over 10th grade can't. Well, no, I'll, let me let me take that back. <laughs> Once you get beyond the 10th grade, then you realize what Christianity and capitalism and Republican politics have done to us all of our lives. Totally corrupted our ability to think, given us wrong information sent us down rabbit hole after rabbit hole, and what do we have for it? Well, take a look around. So I, I still, though, get intrigued with why so many Americans can be made such assholes of with, with this Christian fascism, the political part and the religious part, for that matter. The religious part, I, I can understand. That's pure brainwashing. But Christian fascism? You know, what used to be the Republican Party? I can't figure that one out. But anyway, let me uh, let me reference this uh, editorial board editorial by the New York Times. They point out that Tuesday's election result trend lines were a political nightmare for the Democratic Party. I hope to shout, "Oh my god!" And, and no Democrat who cares about winning elections in 2022 and the all-important presidential race when the orange scum comes back in 2024 should see what happened Tuesday night as anything less than a political nightmare. That's exactly what it was. Now, we, we, we have the usual... Um, bromides like, um, well, that was a wake-up call for the Democratic Party, and, well, that was a warning shot. Uh, bullshit. Neither one of those uh, uh, morning-after sayings do justice because the danger of ignoring the trends of what, not just the results, but the trends of what happened in New Jersey and Virginia, uh, those trends are too great. What would do justice and, and what's badly needed is what the Republicans said they were going to have after, <laughs> after they were clobbered by Barack Obama. Remember, they were going to sit down and have a, have a discussion um, uh, among themselves about how the Republican Party could become all-inclusive. Don't laugh could become all-inclusive, could, could work for the betterment of the American people. And, of course, they had the discussion they came up with, oh, well, we know how to do it. 
let's elect a Nazi. <laughs> so, so they went to work on Trump. Oh, my God. But the Democratic Party had better, better figure this out. They better have an honest conversation among themselves uh, about how to return to the policies uh, and the values that caused that so-called blue wave uh, in, in 2018 and won Joe Biden the presidency in 2020. Now, I don't think they're going to do it. The Republicans uh, said they were going to do it, and they came up with, a, with the perfect dictator, a slob, ignorant son of a bitch who, who uses uh, Mein Kampf as a training manual. Uh, what are the Democrats going to do? I wonder. But anyway... As the Times editorial board points out, that given the stakes for this country from this urgent climate uh, issue and the desperately needed social spending, both of which are absolutely imperative to the future of democracy, given that, Americans need a conversation about how Moderate voters of all affiliations can, can get behind and guide the Democratic Party right now because it's the only party that shows any interest in governing. And more importantly, it's the only party that shows any interest in preserving democratic norms. If the Democratic Party were to disappear right now, and it is in the process of doing that, then the country is left wide open to the kind of vigilante, fascist, Christian insanity that will tear this country to pieces. I hope you understand that. Now, the results in Virginia, uh, the Times puts it this way, the results in Virginia are a grave marker of political peril. Woo! Uh, Virginia is a blue state. It hasn't been a battleground state in years. Biden won there in 2020, if you remember, by 10 points. And a year later, the Democratic nominee for governor just lost Terry McAuliffe by two and a half percentage points. And Republicans flipped two other statewide offices, lieutenant governor and attorney general. Those are held by Republicans now, too, Christian fascists. And they haven't won those offices in 12 years. What happened? Now, we know that in the campaign that uh, Youngkin, the winner of the governor's race, the campaign that he ra uh, ran, was chock-a-block with lies, especially where it concerned students, especially where it concerned uh, common sense public health ideas. And, and the people of Virginia voted for the lies. You know, this thing about uh, critical race theory being taught, it's not being taught anywhere in America, much less in, in, um, in Virginia. You know, on, on, on the uh, secondary and primary school level, it may be a debatable subject within the confines of political science or economic, uh, economics at university level, if it's even there. But Youngkin, being a Christian fascist, understood the fear. This is what Christians always understand. The gut level fear, and they use it. The Jews are coming. The Muslims are coming. The coloreds are coming. The immigrants are coming. Uh, Chris, uh, critical race theory is coming. I mean, all kinds of bullshit. I, I, I don't understand why the people in a country as warlike as this one are, are such cowards, such terrified, like, like little children on Halloween. I, th that's the part I cannot understand. That uh, white Americans will run screaming for the woods and their guns and Bibles if they get the slightest hint that something, something's coming. And the only place they get that hint from are the Christian fascists and fascist media. And they believe it. Well, Virginia itself is a, uh, a cross-section of uh, sub uh, uh, suburbs, 
Uh, it's a cross section of educational levels. You have your dumb shit, uh, teeth missing hillbillies that live in the southwestern part of the state. You have your educated folks who, who live in uh, the northeastern part of the state um, who have good teeth. Um, you have uh, the Christian nut cakes who exist down around Tidewater uh, and around Lynchburg, Virginia. I, I mean, it really is. Then you have the, the exemplary University of Virginia in Charlottesville. It, it's really a cross section of just about everything. Uh, racial diversity and, and all of it taken together is a mirror of what a winning coalition driven Democratic Party should be. Now, I have my. Uh, reasons for believing that the Democrats lost in Virginia, and you may have yours. The editorial board of the Times say this, Democrats lost there, even with a longtime moderate as their candidate for governor, they lost there because the party has become distracted from crucial issues like the economy, inflation, ending the coronavirus pandemic, and restoring normalcy in schools and isn't offering moderate, unifying solutions to them. I don't agree with that. I think the solu- what, what, what kind of a uh, moderate, uh, unifying solution to the pandemic is there? There's only one. Get fucking vaccinated. Now that the vaccines are available. Well, I mean, what is difficult about that? You don't have to be identified in any manner, politically, religiously, economically, your status, your class. None of that shit matters when it gets down to this. There is a virus loose on the planet. It has killed almost 800,000 Americans. It's still killing us. And the way to stop it is to get vaccinated. How do you put that in moderate terms? So, um, solutions to other problems? Well, what would that be? The economy? The economy is fucked because of two things, Trump and the pandemic. So, you have to eliminate both if you want to get the economy in good shape. Get rid of Trump. He's gone, sort of, maybe, not really. And then fight and get rid of the pandemic. As far as inflation is concerned, well, with a global shutdown of goddamn near everything, in, in, in the capitalists are the ones that cause the inflation, let's be real here. But with this shutdown of, of, of pipelines, that I don't mean oil pipelines, you know, pipelines and delivery systems. Take a look at those pictures from uh, Long Beach and Los Angeles and, and, and New York uh, and Philly. The, the, the container ships that are sitting out there, hundreds of them now, if not thousands, just sitting there. Well, of course, inflation is going to occur because less supply, more demand, more demand, up goes the price. The capitalists love it. They just roll in this shit. They love it. Restoring normalcy in schools. That could have been done. A year and a half ago. But you see the white devils who show up at these school board meetings screaming and farting and burping about uh, somehow their freedom is being abridged if, if their little precious children wear masks. So I'm, I'm not sure what the New York Times editorial board means. What is a moderate approach? How do you approach a radically insane Christian fascist with ideas that the rest of the world would see as moderate. How do you do that at a Times editorial board? Huh? Hi, Truth Seekers. Mike Malloy here. As you know, we've switched formats and are now broadcast exclusively on the Progressive Voices Network. So that means you get fewer program interruptions, no corporate commercials, and lots of profanity. But our format change also means some of our radio listeners no longer hear the program. It's been a while since I mentioned our podcasts, so you may have forgotten that there is a way to listen to this program anytime you need a good dose of screaming. Visit MikeMalloy.com and subscribe to our podcast. As a podcast subscriber, you can download the program to your mobile device and take me with you wherever you go. 
And if you have a friend who needs a dose of truth-seeking, you can give a gift subscription as well. That's MikeMalloy.com. And never miss a minute of the uncensored fun and frivolity.